टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट जीरो लो ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स एंड सेकेंड फर्स्ट लो ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द जीरो लो ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स सो फर्स्ट द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द जीरो लो ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स इफ टू बॉडीज ए एंड बी आर इन थर्मल इक्वेलिब्रियम विथ थर्ड बॉडी सी so up to here this is the condition there are the two bodies a and b and both are in thermal equilibrium with the body c so try to understand this condition with the help of the figure first so let's say this is the body a and this is the body b according to the statement if the two bodies a and b are in thermal equilibrium with the third body c so let's say over here this is the third body c and both a and b are in thermal equilibrium with the body c so i can say these both body are in thermal equilibrium with the body c thermal equilibrium that means the temperature is same of both body then this is called in thermal equilibrium so once again look at this statement if two bodies a and b are in thermal equilibrium the third body c that we have shown over here in this figure now next then the two bodies a and b are also in thermal equilibrium with each other so i can show over here in this figure that both body a and b are also in thermal equilibrium the principle of temperature measurement is based on zeroth law of thermodynamics now why it is called zeroth law of thermodynamics can you imagine so this is the answer this law was stated after first law of thermodynamics hence it is called as zeroth law of thermodynamics now the next one first law of thermodynamics so focus over here carefully because of it is a little bit difficult compared to the zeroth law of thermodynamics first start with the statement energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be converted from one form to the another form so it is basically the law of conservation of energy so it is very simple energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be converted from one form to another form thus it is a statement of law of conservation of energy when a system undergoes change of state and that we have discussed in the earlier video of basic terminology like state path cycle process so you can refer it so when a system undergoes change of state both heat and work transfer take place so the net energy is stored in the system so i can say the net energy stored in the system is equal to heat supplied minus work done so whatever it may be the difference of the heat supplied and work done that will be stored in the system that is called as the stored energy and that is represented by delta e so i can say delta e is the net energy stored is equal to q that means heat transferred to the system minus w that is the work transferred and as you know that the stored energy is the summation of the change in internal energy delta u change in kinetic energy delta ke and change in potential energy delta pe for a closed system mass is fixed so there is no elevation and movement no elevation that means there is no change in potential energy no movement that means no velocity that means change in kinetic energy is zero so for a particular closed system i can say delta e is equal to delta u only because of this both term will be zero so i can say for a closed system change in potential energy is equal to zero and change in kinetic energy is equal to zero so that i can say delta e is equal to delta u and you know that 
delta E is equal to Q minus W. So I can say delta U is equal to Q minus W. So it is also stated that heat and work are mutually convertible. For a cyclic process, delta E is also zero. This is a special case. Cyclic process, that means you know that the system will pass through the different processes and come to the original state. That means there will be no any change in energy. And so that you can say delta E is equal to zero for the cyclic process. So if I put over here delta E is equal to zero, then you can say Q is equal to W. So that I can say net heat transfer Q is equal to net work transfer W. So this is also the statement of the first law of thermodynamics or the cyclic process. So thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.